guys and welcome back to more Persona 5. We are here. It is pretty much Monday. Right now we can hang out with Shojito. But after looking at the real map, apparently if we go over to Shibuya, there's two people waiting to start up a damn social link or a confidant. EY and then Speech Giving Man. So we want to go over here to probably Station Square. And I think that speech given minute should be over here. He's usually over here, right? Here he is. Wait, no, that's not him. Hey, listen up, man. Our club's the best in the world. We always go all out. Just back from vacay and ready to partay. Vacay? This has been going on non-stop since the pledge party. These guys are hardcore. Please consider what I have to say. There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, the mysterious psychotic breakdowns, the school with corrupt teachers. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negli uh, neg negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I'm interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Mm. I can use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Really? Hey. Have you noticed that guy was at the beef bowl shop before? If you work part-time at the beef bowl shop, maybe he'll let you... I, I do work at the beef bowl shop. What? So maybe I should go to the beef bowl shop. <laughs> yeah, sexual harassment. Such deviant behavior. The media is going to have a feeding frenzy. We don't want to bring such shame to our company. Alright, so I guess we're going to be heading over to the beef bowl place. And working, if we can. I'm not sure if we can work today. Oh. Let's go to work. Maybe we'll see him here. A lot of customers just came in. You're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Curry bowl, make it a large. Medium beef bowl. Oh shit. One medium hero grill raw bowl. Oh my god. All right, stay calm and remember the orders. They won't let you look at the fucking or, uh, the log. Oh no. I think it was a large curry bowl. That's right. Beef bowl. Yeah, they did say that. Third customer. I think they said Gua Gio Robo. Yeah, that's what I heard too. What did the fourth customer say? I honestly did not see. I did not see something large natto bowl. That was the order. I didn't see it. <laughs> All right, now you just have to make sure everything uh, is right and serve them. Oh my God. You. I totally guessed that last one. <laughs> you appear to have a difficult time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You were extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm. Mm, I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you again. I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. Wow. Hmm, good work. Yep. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it very well in your I'm counting on you. I paid you a little extra today. Good work, keep it up. 4,800. Oh man, that's not that much, man. Come on, man. Ooh, I'm balling now. And... So like a, this is like having a thousand dollars, dude. You were amazing today, dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Decent. All right. <sighs> Well, I guess we should go home soon. All right, so far so good. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. 
I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I mean, I'm trying to do as much as I can this playthrough. Hmm. Whoa. It looks like you're attending school seriously. That reminds me. You also seem pretty close with takamaki san If you're both coming to school together, you just transfer here though. I guess you two really click. We're in the same class. Oh. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. What? I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita, but was that all there was to it? Either way, a closer inspector should clear everything up. Goodbye. Wow. She just walked up behind me like that? Next time you do that, you might get smacked. Ahem. You have exams starting tomorrow. It's too late to cram, so don't even try it. Well, shall now, we begin? Picking up from last time, the end of the high end period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale, the hike, the heike? Fuck, man! I'm not Japanese. It was a time. Hey, hi, he, heike, heike, heike. Fuck! It was a time when all the, <laughs> when all that was great, would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week is called magistrate's patronage. All right, I guess we have to remember that. That term came from the name of the position that a certain hero held. Now then, Hikari Khan. Oh, who's that? Do you guy? know the answer? Who do you think is the origin of the term magistrate patronage? How am I supposed to know? Dai Sojo? I do not uh, know. Oh, let me look at him. Oh, well, I guess the answer is just Minamoto. Minamoto no Yoshitsuni. This is it. Correct. Nice. Mr. Inui. Alright. Magistrate was Minamoto no Yoshitsune title, which later became his nickname. Oh my god. Although Yoshitsune helped defeat the Tyra, he was driven out by his brother and killed himself. Wow. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. That's why he's one of the most broken personas ever. No way. Wow, really? Kari seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going. He must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Well, you know. Still old Bolivia is a shit. <laughs> Alright. Rather than sliding or siding with the one who has been Rather than siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. Yeah, I actually like that too. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. Yep. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Exactly. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Alright, don't forget your exams start tomorrow. Do you need to put any last minute study in it? Oh no! No, oh no, no. I'm gonna be screwed on my midterms. Oh man. Oh, who's calling me? Strengthening my heart. Hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart, but it's kind of hard to do myself. Will you train with me? Oh, I can become closer with her right now, but Ryuji's that boy though. I mean, the higher his rank is, the more, you know. I'm thinking about just doing Ryuji though. Side later. I think I'm gonna just do Ryuji because the faster I get him out the way, um, the more I can focus on somebody else. And on top of that, I get the benefit of like whoever I fuse up that's his chariot persona is gonna get a hell of a lot of level up. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get him. Looks like they're really gonna bring back the track team. The guy is basically Kamashina Jr. I swear he's scheming something. Well, I guess I can look into that myself. Anyway, what are your thoughts on training today? Yeah, let's get it. Come on, Ryuji. Let's do it, boy. For the practice. Let's see, where do you want to practice? Ah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'll race you to see who gets ready first. Hmm. Man, we really don't got a good place to train. Uh-huh. I mean, we'd probably run into Nakaoka and them if we stuck around here. 
You got any ideas? We can train at my place. Yeah, we can train at our place. How about protein lovers? Nah, let's stay here. We need like a personal place. So let's train at my place. Seriously? I bet we just end up eating ice cream and playing video games all day. Oh, come on, bro. That's just kind of what happens, you know? <laughs> I guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym. If they ain't there, maybe we can. Whoa! Nakaoka? Got his ass whooped, didn't he? What the hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakaoka. It's none of your business. So what? You're gonna ask him some questions with your fist? And anyways, ain't a 301 kind of cowardly? The only coward here is Nakaoka. All the shit Kamashita put us through is his fault. He was telling that bastard a secret about us the whole time. Really? What? It's a load of bull. This is no time for arguing, man. You guys should trust Nakaoka. All right, no time for arguing? Is this the right answer? Or should we go with, you guys should trust Nakaoka? Let's say you guys should trust him, man. I mean, if y'all gonna argue, why y'all arguing? You guys should trust Nakaoka. That's right. You've been training together for freaking forever. Was ain't the track team coming back? You don't gotta fight. Shut up. I'm telling you, this piece of shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Sakamoto? He's got to be a snitch. Whoa! H hold up! Out of the way. Sakamoto will beat the shit out of you too if we need to. <laughs> if you think that's going to make you feel better, go for it. But you're going to wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels real bad looking back on shitty stuff you've done. Huh? Look, even if Nakaoka wasn't working with Kamashita, ain't it fine now? The bastard is gone, so you guys can just put this crap behind you. There's no reason to fight, yeah? We can't keep people around who are just gonna try and undermine our team. But, but, but I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Kamashita. No matter how much you hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Oh yeah? We got proof. Yamauchi told us all about it. Oh, Yamauchi. Huh? Come on, Takeshi. We gotta get out of here. It'd be real bad if anyone else showed up. Nagoka, shit like you isn't welcome on our new track team. You better remember that. You gotta believe that piece of shit over this piece of shit. I mean, this guy? You okay? What the hell was all that? Just stay out of this, Kamato. It has nothing to do with you. But I was helping. When you hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure his bullshit. You might have felt relieved, but it only made life harder for us. Did you hear all the crazy shit Kamishita did, man? Because of you, we lost the only place we could vent our frustrations. The one place we could really belong. Tensions got pretty high after that, and things just been kind of rough. Why they gotta be so hard on Ryuji, though, man? Come on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're right about me? Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamishita about your parents? <sighs> You told him. You told him. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyway. Besides, hey. I realized something, Nakaoka. I might have messed up with Kamashita back then, but hanging on to that past ain't gonna help anything. I'm just gonna focus on being myself now. Yeah, on being free. Focus on the future. What are you talking about? We always gotta bring out the past shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that matters is the past. Free, huh? <laughs> Oh, Naruto looking ass motherfucker try to tell me to let go of the past. Hey. Believe that, motherfucker. <laughs> Akai, you get what I'm trying to say, yeah? More or less. <laughs> More or less. Absolutely. Let go of that past, man. What do you mean, more or less? You're supposed to know. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man. <laughs> Can you explain that? Uh, I don't know how else to explain. I just feel free. I really don't understand. Let's say, huh? <laughs> we stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> I 
feel like I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. He feels free. He doesn't feel too stressed out. Harrison recovery. Chance to re chance to cure status elements inflicted upon party members. Nice party members. So that's anybody. All right. Nice. Level six. Man, that was some funny shit. So come, so much for training, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We should grab some ramen on the way home. Man, you really are Naruto. You eat all this ramen. Talking about believing in stuff. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Ah, you're back. Hey. Come to think of it, that guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by his cover. All right, so they want me to hang out with that man. Exams soon. Exams are coming up soon. You're not stuck. You're not uh, getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together. Nope. Gonna hang out with my social links. You know I'll just how it this. goes. All right, let's go see if we can hang out with the politician. He might start a new socially, which he will. City. Oh, before I start his social link, I gotta use uh, third eye on him. And the reason why you want to use third eye is to see what kind of arcana he would have, so we can get a persona ready. I can feel it. Is that the temperance? No, that's the sun. That's the sun. All right. So what we want to do is stop by um, Central Street, go by the fusion area. Uh, we want to go ahead and fuse up a persona that's sun related. All right, guys. So after like various means of finding ways to get a persona for like the sun confidant that we're about to get here, I literally went to the velvet room and everything. And apparently, the lowest level persona that I currently currently can get for the sun is level 19 and there's just no way i'm gonna be able to level up that far so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna initiate contact with the with this man we're gonna go ahead and pretty much start up his social link right here his confidant and start up his uh events and uh we're just gonna let it rock I, I just can't get a sun persona at this moment so it is what it is please consider what i have to say can anyone deny this? The runaway train, he's still saying the same thing. The apathy, the permeates, yes. You. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. Are you a student? Yeah. Hmm? Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. If you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and I need to do so. I need the power of the youth. Yes. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. You right. You right. All right. I was thinking you could learn some things if you choose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Okay. Understandable. I'd be glad to. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? Here you go. Hmm. You're a student from Shujin Academy. It's nice to meet you. Toronosuke Yoshida. <sighs> I used to be a member of the diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. <laughs> Body. You want to go for 13 and 0? <laughs> he want to get 13 and 0, dude? Dude, he's about to lose 13 in a row. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today has been blurred. With common sense no longer our, our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. He is not wrong. This has resulted in the deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However... Even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interest of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others just for your own benefit? A world where the young exists only to be exploited? It's a world that must be changed. Easy for him to say, old time is like we have our hands full of taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no-name. He probably won't get too far down. Nothing's gonna change. We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? 
Suzuki isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? You mustn't base your decision on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Shut up, man. You're just like Bernie Sanders. You're just a washed up politician. <clears throat> if I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to... In the best interest of all, <laughs> save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Damn, hey, look, that was hard. That was harsh. That was harsh, man. Yo, shit, you was out there spitting some, some knowledge, man, but people don't seem to care. What did you think of my speech? The best interest of all? I'm glad. Do you feel the same? Such as I am, I like to believe that I am capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You have my support. Thank you. Thank you. It's encouraging to know that my message is one over you. Is one you over. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those type of reactions. No. Although I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Nice. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Thanks, Yoshida. So if we never got the beef bowl job, we would have never got this man. Whoa, 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 we didn't, whoa, are you serious? Oh, that didn't even start his rank, that's crazy. <laughs> Did Kamishita have a psychotic breakdown? Shoot, I haven't studied at all. Have you heard of what's happened since then? This sucks. Oh, I pulled an all-nighter lap. Oh, no exams. Did you really get caught? <laughs> oh, man. Well, shall Ooh. we begin? Ooh, y'all hear this? Let's go into C, man. Although the lines connect A to C, it looks like it leads to B instead. What is this phenomenon called? All oh, optical illusion. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Yeah, boy. Mm. Let's see an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think of it. Let's think it through. What is the reason why people will see the same thing differently? It's how they are seeing things is different. If how they're seeing things is different, it probably has to do with this kind of information. Auditory information, visual information. <laughs> visual information, my dude. Right, how you see something is visual information. What takes the visual information from your eyes and processes it is the, uh, the marrow. <laughs> the brain, my boy. Right, the stomach. <laughs> like, really? The brain processes visual information. So the reason why people see things differently is they have different cognitions. Now the brain interprets the same visual data how one perceives the world different from person to person. That sounds pretty good. Yep. You finished the time. Yeah, boy. Ahem. Time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands under your desk. Nah, I'm still right, fam. Music is still going through. Oh, come on, man. It was still going. You're going to play the same damn music. So you should have just kept it going. <laughs> Let's get started. Today is the second day of exams. I sound like Bryce Pappenbrook. Which one of the following expressions came from the name of the position? Oh, yeah, we know this. We just learned this. Magistrate's patronage. Hot pot attendant. Bragger. Domineer <laughs> domineering husband. That sounds about right. I got a cat helping my ass. What is the origin of the English word talent? The origin, huh? Let's see. The name of a saint, the name of an artist, the name of a summer currency. I don't remember this one. I don't remember this one. Uh, 
Ooh, that sounds about it. right. <laughs> you bullshitted it just right. You, you, you bullshitted just at the right pace. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, dude. I, I didn't know that. I don't remember. I don't remember that. It was too long ago. I'll take those, though. Okay, class, let's Today's get started. the third day of exams. Go ahead and get started. What did the Greek philosopher Socrates say that evil is born from? <laughs> Money. Ignorance, desire, curiosity. Evil is born from ignorance. I would say ignorance. Ooh, we can do this. What's the least number of colors needed to paint Japan so no little bit of so no two adjacent areas oh yeah we already learned this it was four right yeah it was four was it four yeah it was four screw it Ooh, we can do this sounds about right yeah boy I'm about to ace these motherfucking exams ain't nobody gonna be talking shit about me ain't nobody none of the teachers that's right. No teachers, no students, not even the principal is going to be talking shit. That's right. Shitty sight, but cool idea. <laughs> <sighs> so sleepy. I ended up pulling all night at once I realized today's the last day of exams. Staying up and studying. No, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, then before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> You fell in for sure. <laughs> You're failing for sure. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. Nobody's expecting anything of me, so I don't gotta worry about grades, really. <sighs> Morning. Look who else is yawning. <laughs> oh, and there's a phone call. You hear that? Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Mm. Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. <laughs> what was that? Will you please shut up? You gotta make me forget everything I'm in. Huh? Am I imagining things? What's wrong? You see a groper or something? That's not it. It's nothing. Mm -mm. Morgana noticed something. Oh my god! That guy got off! Isn't this bad? Hey, at least act like you care. But I don't. <laughs> Fine. Come on. Huh? Is it set up? You set him up. <laughs> well, he's got keys. June? Is he from Persona 2? Uh, what the hell? You look like a Persona 2 character. We don't talk about Persona 2 or 1. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? Yeah. <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! <laughs> Who are they doing from Persona 2? He looks like stalking June. Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... My goodness, I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> what the hell? That's the old man, that's the next target. Maybe he's like doing something to this guy, the blue hair guy. I saw you from the car. And I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. <laughs> Unforeseen boy. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei. But thank goodness I caught up to you. Yo, is that McCree? <laughs> it's high noon. That's fucking Matthew Mercer, dude. 
He's the, that's the that's the great value Troy Baker. <laughs> Yo, cause he took over Kanji's um he he took over Kanji. He took over for Kanji when uh Troy Baker didn't want to come back for him in the uh, Persona 4, the second half of Persona 4 animation. So he just started doing Kanji's voiceover for Persona 4 dancing, and he also did it for the animation, which is hilarious. So Matthew Mercer, the great value Troy Baker, is back in this game as a main character. That's interesting. Okay. What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please. Won't you? What? Wait a minute, I... Why on? Be the model for my next art piece. M model? Bruh. All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Morgana, you sound jealous. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. Kosei. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Yusuke, hey? Yusuke. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I thought he was gonna say you're a machine. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? Really? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That's his Sensei, huh? That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. Man, all I see when I hear Matarame is Madara. <laughs> I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets, too. <laughs> wow. That's a nice assumption, you asshole. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Yusuke. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Really? Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. <laughs> Wow, she she just gonna go? How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. My free time is going away for more plot. No, I wanna hang out with more people. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? Yup. That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. Hmm. But how did you discover such horrible deeds that were hidden all these years in such a short time? In the metaverse. She probably ain't gonna believe me again. This metaverse business again? <sighs> you better believe. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Come on, lady. It's been about almost 17 hours, man. You still interrogate me? Were you related to those as well? I might be. <laughs> I don't want to say. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Fine. Continue telling me about Madarame's case. Keep it concise and only of the truth.
grilling me. Grilling me. Today's the last day of exams, huh? What's wrong? You're taking a lot of time to get through t uh, get through these. This isn't going too well. I wouldn't expect a great score. Oh God! Come on! I thought I did pretty good, dude. It's over. It's over. How about you? I'm feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? <laughs> There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic raised eel. Domestic raised eel? What does it matter how raised, how, if they were raised domestically? Do they taste differently? Do they taste better? I don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. <laughs> oh, of course not! When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. You're right. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I remember going to this little... Because my friend does art. I went to this little museum and it was so boring i'm like dude like i don't i, I don't know what people see in this like <laughs> it was some strange ass thing this is made out of this specific material but it doesn't look cool <laughs> oh wow he combined this with this i i don't have that high i, I don't have a refined fucking taste for these high quality freaking constructions of art it's just so boring. I suggest Not a painting, we just, together. just like random shit put together, man. Like it was like, how can this be art? I can do this. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. I'm looking forward to it. Just the phrase "going to an art exhibit" sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Sounds pretty mature. Sounds boring to me, though, but I gotta go with the team. Actually, the only reason I want to go is so I can beat up some people. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady On. I'm curious to know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. Whatever the case may be, we can't be late. Better get to bed early. So, I keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Madarame? Probably. Sounds about right. Second it. <laughs> Great, the name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else calling Madarame? It's not really common. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. Damn. We gotta look into this. So I guess what we're gonna do is save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Persona 5. Let's do it.